All right, this was sent into the channel for a review. This is by Fenersi. Uh It's black in the front, so it's kind of hard to see. We'll turn it on. But it's the IPS3608. It's power supply. It's 36 volts, 8 amps. So, yeah, quite a bit of power in a little bitty package. Uh, it's not very heavy. Uh, and uh, it has a nice looking screen. We'll turn that on. Uh, the fan in the back. Power switch, normal stuff. There's a, a data, a USB uh, C uh, data in the back. Uh, let's turn it on here so you can get a good uh, good view of it. Uh, we're gonna have to kind of prop it up here. Let's see here. Turn it on. All right. Yeah. See. Uh, I think you can. You can see that pretty nice looking display, easy to read, volts, amps, and watts. Um, has memory, constant voltage, constant current, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it has uh, a couple modes here. It's got a graphing mode, which is kind of nice. And then it's got this other mode here. We'll talk about that later. Um, but let's go ahead and hook up some power so we can play with it. I'm going to be using my load. I have a one ohm resistor, a very big a one ohm resistor. Uh, so uh, the uh, spacing is uh, three quarters of an inch. So it's standard, standard uh, uh, banana jack spacing, banana plug spacing, whatever. I guess it's both plugs and jacks in there. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, set voltage. So you hit this button here, and uh, it was in volts. You hit it again, it's in, in amps. So we hit it here, and then we can go over. We're going to adjust uh, volts. It might be small on camera, but we're adjusting, adjusting here. So it'll be 5 volts, and it's set to, uh, it's set to 1 amp. So if we turn it on... Uh, we're going to get one volt at one amp because uh, um, five volts at five amps would be five five amps, and we're, we're we we told that we only want a maximum of one amp, so it is constant uh, constant current. Now it says right there we're we're constant current at one amp. So let's go back. Uh, let's turn it off. We'll go back and we'll set the amperage to 8 amps. So it goes to 8.2 amps is as high as it'll go. So when we turn it back on now, now we're going to get our, uh, we're going to get our 5 amps now. And uh, we could go to the volts here. Uh, 6 volts would be 6 amps. 7 and 8 volts at 8 amps, and that's as much as the unit can output is 8 amps. All right, so uh, let's see, what else can we do with it? Um, let's see here. Uh, we can take a look at the uh, graphing mode. So if we go here, uh, we can watch it. Uh, oh, the fan just finally turned on. We can watch it uh, do something. I'll disconnect the uh, disconnect the uh, device, and we see that it came down. Turn it back on again. Goes back up. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if you can adjust the vertical or not. Uh, might just be whatever you get. Um, but that's a nice feature. Let's see here. Uh, we can let's see volts, amps. Okay, so we can adjust the we can adjust the uh, voltage here while we're talking. You can watch the little graph, the little graph do this little stair steppy thing as we change the uh, change the voltage and the current goes. So that's a really nice feature. Um, I don't have a power supply that does that really well. I used to have one, but it, it was really, really awful in how it did it, the regal. But this looks like it works much, much better for that type of thing. Give you a quick little indication of current draw. And uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, 
think what we want to do is demo the other thing it does. So let's turn this off. All right. So I'm going to plug a, a, a USB uh, connector in the front. Okay. There's a slot for A and a slot for C's. Now, if we go in this mode here, it's measuring the voltage and current on the USB A and the voltage and current on the USB C. All right. So let me plug this onto my, my iPhone here and we should watch it start to do something. Uh, maybe it doesn't like this cable. Some cables don't work with certain things like this particular thing. Uh, okay, well, this would be C to C. C to C. Let's see if the iPhone, rec yeah, the iPhone recognized that cable. All right, so we're on the uh, USB C. It's outputting 5.1 volts at one amp. It should be able to negotiate with the iPhone and uh, start to ramp up the current because uh, uh, USB-C figures out what can be done. And uh, there we go. Now we're up, we were up to two and a half amps there for a while. Anyway, I like, I like this feature a lot, um, being able to do that. Now, I don't think we get a graph of that. No, we only get a graph of the... Uh, of the big connector, but uh, we can watch it here, uh, how we're progressing. So I really like this feature. Um, I got, let's see here, let me show you one of these things. I've got one of these that I use all the time and it's, a, it's just a little dongle you shove in there and it'll tell you volts and amps and stuff. I use this all the time, but having it right on the supply would be really, really nice and handy. Okay. Um, Okay, we can disconnect this. Uh, so I demo that, demo that. Uh, there is uh, some memory. There's six memories, so you can set uh, different things. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just, I just didn't remember. So you press the menu key here, and now there's three things. There's the, there's the memories. There's the system where you can control brightness and volume and things like that and then the uh, version version number and stuff. So anyway, that was right there. I just had forgotten. Um, yeah, it's a nice little machine. Uh, let's go ahead and measure the, uh, the noise. Um, it is a switcher. It's not gonna be like a linear power supply. It will have noise. Uh, we'll, just see, uh, we'll just see how it is. All right, and uh, before somebody starts to comment, uh, this is not a true measure of the noise and ripple of the power supply. Um, I do have long leads and I do have a scope probe that's not shielded and blah, 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 blah. It's just a typical use case um, where this is exactly how you're going to be using it. And this is the type of situation that you can occur. Um, it's not a measure of how well the power supply can do things. Um, let's see here. So we have a uh, Let's go back to uh, volt mode here. So you can see we can, we can raise the voltage and lower the voltage. We'll put it here at two volts, two amps. I always have the one ohm resistor in there and it looks pretty clean from, from here. So let's go ahead and um, we will put it on AC coupling. All right. Uh, let me get my mouse out. I don't have to put my fingers in front of the screen. All right, so we're in, uh... all right. So when you're gonna be looking at noise, uh, the rule of thumb or the, or the standardization, whatever you wanna say, is to put your scope probe into 20 megahertz bandwidth, okay? So if you have max bandwidth, uh, so this is a one gigahertz scope. You're going to see the noise is much, 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 much bigger. <laughs> it's a really big uh, uh, because of the one gigahertz harmonic system. Anyway, let's go ahead and oops, back, put out DC and we'll set the uh, resolution or the uh, bandwidth of the oscilloscope to 20. 
20 megahertz and there we go let's go ahead and see if we can't uh, trigger to make pretty pictures and uh, anyway you can kind of see that's that's so what sort of what you can expect um, I have a peak to peak voltage measurement down here uh, let's go ahead and research the, research the statistics. I'm getting about 70 millivolts peak to peak, but that's usually not the way you measure power supplies. So let's go ahead and add a RMS uh, voltage, AC RMS, full screen, deviation. Okay, let's add that. And uh, we're getting about 3.3, 3, no, 4. We're getting about 4 millivolts, 4 millivolts of uh, RMS noise and ripple. So I think that's fairly decent for a switcher. Um, I don't have a lot of experiences with them. All of the power supplies that I use in the lab are um, linear, except for when I'm powering up something that I really don't care about the ripple and noise, I just need a lot of current. I will use switchers, but I'm, I'm usually not going and looking at statistics and stuff on them. Anyway, uh, let's see. So that was at uh, two amps, okay? Two volts, two amps. So let's go ahead and crank it up and see if it gets worse. So let's go to uh, three volts. 4 volts, 5 volts, 6 volts, it's getting bigger. Now our RMS is about 4.5 millivolts. Let's go to 8 volts. So here's 8 volts, 8 amps. And we're at about 5.5 millivolts. So not so bad. Not so bad. Okay, that was just a quick uh, video. Uh, my review of the Finerci IPS3608. I do kind of like it. I might make room for it on my bench. Uh, anyway, links down below.